Yeah. One more time, everybody, and make some noise for Diaz Mackey, everybody. Keep it going for him. Yeah. All right. All right, we're going to bring up our feature uh, to the stage tonight. Um, you know, he's been, he's been coming here. He's been crushing it. And tonight is, he's here now for the feature, and I'm very happy, all right? You have, dude. You've been coming here. You've been fucking doing your fucking thing. So make some noise right now for nothing more than just Wayne, everybody. Wayne. Another round of applause for you guys for coming out. Let me fucking hear it. Keep it going. That's great. Diaz was talking about made a, made, he made a porno. I made a porno. If you're curious, don't be. I watched it. Yeah. Nope. Ever. Again. I take pictures now from like the knee down. That's it. That's all I do. Like I like I wear clothing, so it's like you know what? He looks bangable, but the minute this shit comes off, it's like I'm gonna take an Uber home. I'm like that's probably best. It's fucking gross. I just realized I'm a bad influence on my oldest son. Uh, everybody's in agreement. All right. It's like, you know what? I totally see that just by looking at you. You look like you'd fucking fuck somebody up. He's 11 years old. Went to physical therapy the other day because I have a bad back and I had to make him an appointment for his foot. He had surgery. So we're sitting there and this lady walks out. We're waiting to go in. And she walks out and I'm like, look. She comes out and she's like limping. And I'm like, damn, I thought my shit was bad. And he's like, yeah, I thought my foot was bad. I'm like, what? I was like, what do you think? He was like, yeah. He was like, but I've seen better ass. I'm like, dude, you're 11. He's like, yeah, I know, but you taught me well. And I'm like, that's what's up, man. That's what's up. My 11-year-old my boy is an ass man. Yeah, that's what I'm <laughs> talking about. Oh, my God. Vegas has no fucking chill. That's why I like coming to Boulder City sometimes. Like, I live in Henderson, but there's times where I have to go down to Vegas to do a show. And then there's other times where I just go down there to, like, walk around. I haven't been to Fremont in a while, so I decided to go down there a couple weeks ago. Right? Now, usually when I'm by myself, like, I don't really talk to nobody because over the years it's changed. Fucking, you don't want to talk to nobody because you don't know what they're going to do or what they're fucking selling. But there's always that one person that no matter how hard you try to not talk to them, they always make it a point to come up and fucking burst your bubble. Sure as shit, that happened to me. I'm walking down there looking at the lights. I think it was stone that day. Probably. I was looking at the lights and I'm like, wow, man, they've changed a lot over here. And this lady comes up out of nowhere and she's like, hey, big boy. <laughs> what? She's like, hey. 30 bucks. I said, uh, I'm good. I'm just here high enjoying the light show. I said, second of all, I only have $20. So, I mean, it was a great night that night. <laughs> it's fun. Um, I'm getting older. I'll be 39 this October. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. God damn. And I know I'm getting older. I fucking feel it all the time. And the problem is with me getting older is like not everything is going out, but I'm like, I'm forgetting. I'm forgetting important things. You ever forgot something? You ever forgot something like really important to where you're like, fuck. Right? That happened to me a couple weeks ago. My wife works from home, right? So I had to go get groceries and she's like, you gotta take the kids with you, they can't be here because she does like online like phone calls and she, she works for a bank. I'm like, all right, cool. So I loaded everybody up in the car. We went to the store, it's like right up the fucking road. 
she gave me the list. She's like, make sure you get everything and make sure you pick up my prescription. And I'm like, all right, cool. No problem. Load everybody up. We go over there, go through all the aisles and shit, get everything I need. Got her prescription. I'm like, I got this shit in the bag. I come back. She was on a break. She comes in. She's checking everything. She's like, did you get it? I said, hell yeah, I got it. I said, I got everything, including your prescription. She's going through it. She said, you forgot something. I said, babe. I said, I double checked. I triple checked. And I said, I had my oldest also check. And she's like, yeah, you got everything. She's like, but where's our youngest son? <laughs> I'll be right back. I'm telling you, fucking sucks. Jesus Christ. Oh, fucking ridiculous. So yeah, I have, I have two boys, 11 and four. I love them to death. <laughs> But I'm going to kill them. I'm going to kill them. They got my sense of humor, especially the four-year-old. The only thing I hate is when you say something, you know how you're supposed to be older and like teach your kids and like teach them your wisdom and shit, but then they do that one thing where they turn something around on you and you're like, God oh, damn. And you can't fucking dispute it. Like they throw something back in your face and you're like, what the fuck? Not too long ago. My kids are crazy, and I'm going to tell you why. My oldest and my youngest, they like to drink old, flat soda. Yeah, exactly. And they came up to me one day, the oldest, he said, hey, can I finish this? And I said, that's been sitting out on the table for the last two fucking days. I said, it's warm. There's a fly in it. I wouldn't do it. He's like, yeah, but it tastes good. I said, that's fucking disgusting. And at that moment, I realized just how much he fucked with me playing stupid because he was like, disgusting. Dad, you're going to sit here and tell me about disgusting? You eat ass. Fucking ain't right. <laughs> the only thing I could say was touche. He got me on that one. He did. He got me on that one. I mean, I do. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, okay. So, <laughs> I was like, God damn, really? You're going to turn some shit around on me? Fuck me running, man. This motherfucker. <laughs> I almost beat his ass the other day. Matter of fact, I did beat his ass. <coughs> School started. He's doing online, but he still has to go to bed at a certain time, right? His bedtime's normally 9, sometimes 9.30. I don't know what the hell happened, but he wasn't having it that night. And I, I like to be a little bit lenient, you know what I mean? Like with my kids. My dad wasn't around. I'm afraid that if I'm too hard on them, you know, they're going to fucking hate me when they're older. But it's starting to get to the point to where I'm like, you know what, fucking, I'll play with you every now and then, but when it comes time, I'm like, I'm dad. You know what I mean? I'm dad. I'm putting my foot down. And the other night, I don't know what the hell was going on, but I told him, I said, it's bedtime. You got to go upstairs. Give me your phone. Go. This is as far as I got. And for some reason or another, as he walked up the stairs, all I hear is, fuck you. <laughs> what? I said, come here real quick. I looked at my wife and I said, <laughs> this going to be fun. I said, let me explain something to you. I said, I understand that you're around people that cuss all the time. I said, but you're also 11. You're not allowed to do that yet. I said, I'm the man of the house. I'm the breadwinner. I tell every fucking person what to do. And from this side, I hear, you ain't tell nobody shit. I said, everybody except your mother. God damn it. Bravo, bravo, bravo. 
I said, but I'm going to tell you what to do until you're old enough to get the fuck out of my house. So I looked at him. I said, tell you what, you want to fucking cuss like a big man? I said, tomorrow, motherfucker, you're going out and getting a job. And paying me for some rent. It ain't happened since. Like, that's right. I am happy to be here tonight. My wife gave me permission. I'm on a curfew, though. I've been married 12 years. I'm not going to take up too much time. I'm going to end it on this. Anybody married? You? Yeah, you're... Skeletor. Fucking old. You're married, yeah? How long? 50? Shit. Anybody else? Pregnant? No, I said married. I said crickets. Cr crickets, yeah. You're married three years? I've been married 12 years. You ever, you ever said some stupid shit that you instantly regretted but didn't have time to apologize for? Every fucking day. Thank you. I think I got you beat. A couple months ago, my wife and I got in an argument. It happens, right? Boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife. It happens, you get in an argument. But my dumbass took it one step further. Instead of letting it be after she stopped talking, <laughs> I decided from across the room to yell out, Fuck you, bitch! <laughs> and at that moment, I had realized just how bad I fucked up. <laughs> because before I could retract what I said and apologize, I, I wake up. I don't remember what happened. All I know is that when I woke up, she's standing over me and she said, what? I said, you heard me. I'm sorry. <laughs> now that's not the fucked up part. Ladies, I love you guys to death, but y'all gotta stop throwing shit at us. <laughs> when we get in an argument with y'all. Like, I understand, okay, certain things is cool. Throw something soft. Don't be throwing no fucking ashtrays. <laughs> fucking cell phones and shit. Motherfucking doorknobs. Evil, evil woman and shit. No. I think my wife has all of you beat. Because when I got up and I looked down, I will never forget what she threw at me. As I looked down, I said, you know what? I apologize. I understand that I, uh, I crossed the line. I said, but that's still no fucking reason to throw a rubber dildo <laughs> at my face. All right? So I went to the bathroom and washed myself off. I had this big ass fucking mushroom stamp. This said, made in China. That's not the worst. The worst part is that every day we fight now, I instantly apologize because she walks around with this motherfucker going like this. I dare you to say something. Say, call me bitch. Call me bitch. I'll do the dishes. So all I'm saying is if you get married, don't, don't make the mistake that I did. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you. My name is Wayne. Give it up for your headliner and Manny one more time. One more time for your feature community of the evening, everybody. Wayne! Let them hear it, Wayne. All right. I, uh, I'm, I'm thoroughly excited for our headliner, you guys. It's been a long time since I've seen him. Um, he is, and I, I, I kind of messed this up last time, he got third place at the World Series of Comedy, everybody. But you know what I say? Fuck everyone. This dude is one of my favorite fucking comedians in the world. All right, and I'm, I'm just so happy he's here. Uh, make a lot of noise right now for Joe. Please, everybody, your headliner.